Hi, you're watching the weekly technology report by FinancialMirror.tv. HTC officially announced their third Android running handset, the HTC Hero. Sporting the most complete feature set of the three, it is destined to battle it out with Samsung i7500 for the full-touch Android throne. The new HTC Hero runs on the familiar Qualcomm's chipset with a 528 MHz CPU, 288 MB of RAM and 512 MB of ROM. Just like the HTC Magic and the HTC Dream, the Hero sports a 3.2-inch TFT LCD touchscreen display. However, this time it will use the capacitive technology and will support multi-touch as we can see from the video published by HTC. Connectivity is perfectly covered with the HTC Hero as it will feature quad-band GSM support as well as built-in GPS receiver and Wi-Fi. The mandatory USB and Bluetooth are present too. According to the GSMarena.com, HTC Hero pioneers the new custom user interface that HTC have prepared for the Android OS. HTC Sense is based on three basic principles dubbed as Make It Mine, Stay Close and Discover the Unexpected. According to Gizmodo.com, the Hero feels more substantial than HTC's previous Android handsets, but the hardware and the software to a certain extent will be familiar to anyone who's used the company's other hardware. The shape of the phone is somewhat boat-like, software performance is very snappy, though the interface takes a while to figure out at first. Screen input on the multi-touch capacitive screen is accurate and quick, and the slight vibratory haptic feedback does the job. But the software doesn't seem quite as buttery smooth, especially during the multi-touch zooming, as the iPhone or Pre. Gizmodo also noticed occasional keyboard slowdown during browsing. The Android basics are all there and the multiple home screens are the same as they've always been, albeit populated with a pile of new HTC widgets. Now we left the best for last as Hero has got Flash support. The implementation is patchy, at least for now. A quick trip to YouTube, as you can see in the gallery, displayed an oddly sized video frame and transitioned to a full screen player when double tapped. It worked okay, although it was clear that the phone was straining. Playback wasn't totally smooth, but would suffice in a bind. Flash ads and animations work more smoothly, and Adobe says that many games are playable. In the UK, Orange seems to have some sort of deal going on, announcing that they will be launching the HTC Hero early July. It will hit the European shelves in July, with Asia and North America following later this year. As for comparing it with an iPhone 3GS, the only thing that HTC's Hero is lacking is an internal hard drive. Other than that, they both have more or less the same features, although the iPhone doesn't have a 5 megapixel camera or a micro SD slot. And most importantly, it doesn't have a flash enabled web browser. In more than a few ways, the Hero, or Sense really, represents a lot of what people had hoped for in Android. That's it for now. Tune in next week for another tech update by FinancialMirror.tv.